All right, everybody, this is Dr. Ray here with another lesson for MCOM 205. This is Basics of Web Design, and we're going to get started. So as I promised to you guys, we are going to learn how to edit photographs from the photos that you take with your smartphone using this app called Snapseed. Can you see there? Snapseed, just in between my camera app and Typorama, which is another great app, by the way. But we're going to click on Snapseed. And, okay, so now we are inside of the app, and we're going to do some photo manipulation step by step. This is a pretty powerful tool here that Google produced. And so let's get started. Let's click on this plus. I'm going to select more photos. You have to give <laughs> the option to select other photographs. So let's see which photo can I maybe manipulate and let's see here some of those maybe some of those photographs i know some photos here that they already they already manipulated because i might already fixed them but these photos here they are pretty pretty raw here from my from my phone let me see if i can get some photos from graduation i think it would be kind of cool to edit maybe, um, you know, let's edit this photograph here, which is one of the photos for, for graduation. So I'm going to click on this guy. And as you can see, the photograph is not that the photograph is bad. The photograph is good, but the photograph is not great. So why is it not great? To me, it looks, I don't think there is enough light in the um I guess this just doesn't have the vibrancy. I don't like it. It's a good photo, but it's not a great photo. And we can maybe do something here. Maybe, for example, uh, can you see all these imperfections that exist in my robe, in my regalia? Yeah, we need to fix this. Um, I think my face is still a little too orangey looking. And I think Lars, is, there is a little, it's a tint of orange to that. It's not all that attractive. Um, and you're going to see that we're going to be able to, to accentuate those colors a little more. And with that, what we're going to do, we're going to just click here, the accentuate, so you all can see maybe some differences. So, of course, this assignation, it didn't work. <laughs> Look at how orange our faces are. That's why oranges and reds are the enemies of portraits. So that one, we're going to click on um, current, right? and take that out of the way. Let's go to pop. And pop, okay, now pop is starting to get a little better uh, from the um, from the current, right? Can you see the difference? So current, and we're gonna go pop. I think it's already better, but still not good enough because there is not enough contrast when we do that. This is why I would probably uh, disregard the filters and go straight to tools and when you go to Tools and you click on Tune Image, what it can do, folks, is that it can go line by line, much like what we did in Photoshop to manipulate your image to capacity. So you click on the options in here. And the first thing that we probably should do in this case is, and if you can see, can you see this, the zero and zero at the bottom, that is some, um, that the mountain looks a little bit more to the left. That means that, the image is a little bit underexposed. If it was the other way, that means that the image will be overexposed. So let's go to brightness and manipulate that to the right a little bit. I'm not going to exaggerate so you can see. Look at that zero and zero, that, that graph at the bottom. You see what happens? Like all the way to the right, oh, overexposed. But we want to make somewhere in, somewhere in between there. I think this would be perfect. This is actually, yeah, let's put like, 40, yeah, around 46 in this case. So I'm going to accept that. And once we do this, we probably should go to your highlights and make the highlight a little lower. I'm going to exaggerate so you guys can see. So uh, make the highlight, because if you go all the way, it's going to bring a little more light to your image. We already just did it. So just move a little bit to your left. And now that we have enough lights, Technically, when we go to shadows, if you were to open the shadows and go this way, look at what happens. Even have more 
um, more light coming out. So we kind of don't need all of this. I mean, we're going to manipulate contrast here in a minute. Technically, could close the, the shadows, but I don't think it looks as nice. We're going to produce some. I'm going to show you guys a fancier way to produce contrast. But we're going to open the shadows a little bit. They're already quite open. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go here to, well, we're not going to go, well, we're just going to click on saturation so you can see. You shouldn't, we spoke in class, remember, don't do saturation because look how orange and red that's going to be. Yeah, ignore the saturation, we even take some out of it. And then what we want to do is to, um, I guess, technically, let's click on ambient so you guys can see. Can you see here that it takes a little bit of the extra grays out? So we're going to take a little bit of that because we're going to manipulate that in, in curves a little bit. And we're going to click OK. So, I mean, not bad. You know, if you really look and see where we start. This is how we started. This is where we are already. So, so again, this is the, how we started. This is how we are already. So we're making progress. And can you see curves? We're going to click on this curve editing. And the way to do this is that we're going to produce like an S curve. So if you move this dot here lower, can you see that we can kind of make that a little more contrasty? And this here, I'm going to click and create a, a manipulation dot. I'm going to move that a little higher. Something called the S curve. So you make the image a little more contrasting, yet in maintaining the actual um, the actual contrast. So look at that. Now, that I like. And um, yeah, I'm going to click OK. So started here. We're already there, right? So I like it. And one thing that we always should pay attention to is this idea of how your image looks. Well, let's go to tone and contrast first, and then we'll go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> so tone and contrast, we're going to click on this guy. And here's where you can kind of fine manipulate your colors. So the high tones are actually pretty good. And you know that it's pretty good because nothing changes. I can kind of see the low tones. To me, they look very good also. So that's why I don't see much there. This photograph is now is actually pretty good, folks. I mean, it, let me just come here and get out. It, it is a good photo. It fixed some of the problems already. But some of the other issues, like when you click on healing, can you see here my regalia? That's like full of imperfections. If you click on those imperfections, they kind of go away. Look at that. Can you see it? Look at that. I'm going to draw here, take those imperfections out. And can kind of go through the regalia. And this, I mean, this this happened when I was in another universe. There's a lot of rain. That place rained like every day. So I, I went to a graduation without an umbrella. And I came out and my regalia got some damage. That's basically what this is. And because those regalias cost kind of a lot of money, I decided not to replace it. <laughs> It still looks good, you know. But you can kind of come here and kind of manipulate this a little bit, right? To make sure that we take some of those imperfections out. Because, you know, a photographer in your photos online, when you put in for your portfolio, should always represent what is the best work that you can produce. And although not every client would see the importance of doing what I'm doing, even though you should do it anyway, <laughs> because number one is the professional way to do it, and the second is that your attention to detail is what makes you into, a, into an outstanding um, media producer. You know, So all micromedia producer in this case, this is technically photos of micro content, right? So, and for your website and so on. So here I'm just cleaning up a little bit my regalia, and when you when you zoom out, look at the difference that that made. Matter of fact, let's see if you can. <laughs> oh, that's bad. If you don't like it, just click return. Just have to get a little close. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, yeah, well, this is where Photoshop will be king because then you can come go a little quicker to a much higher um, 
you know, magnification, you fix everything. But it's overall pretty decent. Most folks would not see a problem. Oh, this one they would. <laughs> With that. And there is like another imperfection here at the top. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix that. And this one. And this thing. And look at that. Now when we come down, look how much more, um, much nicer the, the regalia is. And if you can see the before, look at the before. And look at the after. You see the difference? So now we made that photograph better. So then let's say that you want to make this photograph also for Instagram. Right now, this photograph is not set for Instagram. So we're going to click on Tools, and then we're going to click on your, um, uh, what is the crop? We're going to click on Crop. And the secret is to look at the square. Can you see the square? You click on the square, and then now you're going to be able to manipulate this to show that photo. So just make sure that uh, don't cut the limbs. That's the, the trick. So here would work actually pretty good. Cut at the limbs, I guess. And then we we'll click OK. And look at that before and the after. Before and the after. Look, look at my face, how orange it was. And look how much, not as orange it is. like much more natural, right? And the image is much more... The image is there. It's a better image overall. And let's say that you're happy with this, which I think this is a much better image. So I'm going to click here on Export. And I'm going to Export with Permanent Changes. And once I do that, it's successfully exported. I'm going to come here to my Camera app. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the ad that you have been waiting for. <laughs> All right? So again, this was a lesson on Snapseed. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This is Dr. A here, and guess what? I'll see you guys in class in about 45 minutes.